Hey there, everybody, my name is Kate Moore. Welcome back from the video of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're going to continue the series. Right now, we just uh, encountered Subtil Shan, right? On the last video. So, right now, we just have to basically light the beacons along uh, the path. That's what it's telling us to do. Uh, basically, what that means is we got to follow her trail. She wants us to prove ourselves a bit more. I don't know why exactly. We would have to follow her. We just encountered her. I don't know. Really, I, I literally have no idea why we're doing this. Any of this, right? But uh, we'll do it, I guess. We'll see where this leads us at, to be honest. But uh, I, I, I really have no idea. We're just following her, I guess. Following her to a path, different path and stuff like that. Let's uh, find out uh, where this is going to lead us. We gotta face these goddamn shades again. No Am I, I'm alone too, right? I can't have any like, but that is what I can't have any companions or whatever. So I'm definitely alone on this one. I don't care about whatever you say, uh, Satil. Literally, I <laughs> literally don't care about what the she has to say. I mean, it doesn't mean jack shit to me. Really doesn't mean jack shit her objective. I don't know what she wants out of me. She doesn't want me to die just like they died. It's not gonna happen though. I mean, I'm not stupid as they are. As stupid as they are I'm I'm someone that survives right pretty much anything so I don't know what she's worrying to uh, that much about me to be honest so yeah I'm I'll definitely survive there's another beacon right there I gotta I gotta go on the other side right here just kill that uh, that that sif whatever there oh my god it keeps popping off too what the fuck oh it stunned me or something there we go just do the uh, the AOE attack, boys. And attack this guy right there. There we go. Doing a lot of damage right now. I gotta say, my new bonuses and my mods I that I've got equipped on for my armor are definitely myself. helping out tremendously. I mean, a lot more than what I would expect them to do. She went to the cool on her own. Really? And why would she do that for? I don't know, boys. All right, we got all the beacons uh, equipped. Let me kill that guy. Let's uh, hear about uh, hear some more about her journey or whatever, what she went through. So it's, it's a bit interesting, I gotta admit. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another question. Is there. is what do you want with me, right? Arkin and his knights learn to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. Don't cover your failure with excuses about how superior the enemy is. You just lack the strength to <laughs> nah. face them. I think it's just it's because you're understand. weak. Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkans Knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. All right, I already serve Valkorion. Yeah, you know what? I already serve him. I have a deal with him. What do? What more do I have to do, really? What are you doing here? You never cared about becoming immortal, but I guess dying changes everything. <laughs> this isn't your style, Mar. But I will not leave our empire undefended. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. I don't want your help. I've had enough people telling me what to do. We don't want to control Just leave me alone. No I don't need I, that. I don't need any knowledge. Moment. I'm doing fine on my own. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise 
see victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkham requires new perspectives and new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you and meet us in the cave. I don't think I need help. I really think I'm just doing like I'm doing just fine on my own. And I was doing just fine on my own too well before you dis you guys decide to bother me. Like honestly, now I got to go all the way around and stuff like that. I got to go into rocks. And uh, I got to go on foot because apparently, right, I can't um can't do anything right now. I'm stuck, so I'll see you guys once I've dealt with, uh, I've done all these uh, little thingies, I guess. Alright boys, there it is. The last object. It took me for a while to actually get it. it took me about uh, five minutes or so to get that goddamn thing. And now we gotta go uh, travel to the dark cave. We'll do that. Just jump down like that. There we go. Man, I don't... Here's the thing. I really don't have a, an, any idea of to why we're doing this right now. I am clueless, boys. What are we doing here for? Looks like we were collecting like um, some crystals and stuff like that. But honestly, all of this is just gibberish, uh, gibberish, right? It doesn't mean jack shit to us. I mean, are we like building a weapon? I don't need a weapon. Look at my weapon right here. My weapon is already pretty much OP. I don't need any weapon. I really don't need any. So. I feel like I this is just a big old waste of time, really. It truly is. This goddamn no uh, these are uh, these fucking there monsters, no though. Force. I think you're a fucking traitor to the Sith Empire. That's what I think, and to the Sith knowledge too. The 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 Sith code tells there is no peace. There is only vi uh, there is no peace, right? There is no only death, man. Only death. Forget about the fucking. Peace bullshit. You're you're talking out of thin air right there. I think you got corrupted by Satil. I don't know what happened to you, buddy, but uh, you're definitely not Mar. Tick what the fuck is Vaden doing here? Tick tick tock. Tell me, do you believe in a future? You're a long way from home. I knew this had to be a trap. <laughs> How long have that Jedi... Satil and Mar betrayed me. So yes, and you aren't in it. You. Fucking it. God damn it. We are doing this right now. Are we really doing this? Okay. Fine by me. Let's go then. Is that what you want to do? No, you don't. Oh, you're so strong, huh? You're so strong, Goo Goo Gaga. You really think you can beat me? Oh, yeah, sure. Just do that, why don't you? You're nothing, man. I'm gonna kick your ass, lady. Who do you think you are? You got your ass uh, ended to you by your own mother. Honestly, you're gonna get your ass kicked by a bounty hunter like me. Oh, I'm winning big time, my girl. I don't think... Uh, I don't know who you think you're facing right now, but you're definitely not facing... You're definitely not facing uh, your mother, all right? You're facing me right now, the no, big, we'll biggest bounty hunter in Never the again. the universe. You can't kill me. Come on now, abandon already. You can't get me. Nope. I know what you're trying to do right here. It ain't gonna happen. You can't beat me, man, my girl. Come on, abandon already. She literally came out of nowhere, though. Holy shit. Came out of nowhere, but she... I mean, I do way more damage than her. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that really quick. That definitely helps out the med pack, though. Definitely a welcome hand right there. She's annoying with her little fucking attacks and everything. Goddamn annoying. How about you stop doing that bullshit attack? Yeah, you can stun me all you want. Ain't gonna help you. Let's go, I got you. That was just a vision. Of course, they were toying me. No, way too easy. A warning. 
A vision. You do not use the Force, but Valkorion's power lets you glimpse through it. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkhan stands Aelin, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war, a different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. The devices I found out there, I can build a new weapon with them. Much more than that. A projection of your will. Wield Bullshit! And you will unite the stars beneath your own banner. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power and decide what form it takes. I have to make a decision. To do her, Mar, or both of them. I don't want none of them to... I don't want her to touch my light, uh, to, to touch whatever weapon this is going to be. I literally don't want her to touch it. There's no way I... No, I, there's no way she's touching it. Uh, keep out, man. I mean, uh, Mar, you can... Do, you can get your hands on it a little bit if you want, I guess. It's not like I'm really going to use it. What kind of weapon is that going to look like? Now, I asked for Darth Mar to build my weapon. I should have probably, right, the right thing would have been to ask them both to build my weapon, but what the fuck that? I'm not gonna let that Jedi asshole, like, touch my weapon. I'm literally the worst enemy of the Jedi right now. Ain't about to happen. There's no defeat I can't overcome. Focus on resilience, on transcendence, on sacrifice, now nah, on resilience. This is just like building a lightsaber. It's like I'm becoming a Jedi, uh, a Jedi Knight all of a sudden, boys. But I'm doing the trials for to be a Jedi or something. It what the fuck? Inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkorion and refused to bend. That choice broke me and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand. Because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who count. Well, I didn't make the same mistake. I actually bent the knee against him, my guy. My guy. Spare me what your whining. Your whining. All right, I already did not make the same mistakes as you. All right, I'm actually working with the guy you tried to attack, so spare me your whining, all right? I'm against you, not with you. Fighting for honor or wealth. The people serving you now have far more complex motivations. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat. Or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. The final lesson waits there. Final lesson. She acts like I'm actually having a trial right here. Am I being trained to be a Jedi or something? What's going on here? This weapon. It's okay. It's 200. But, ah, it's a garbage weapon. Why, why am I building a weapon that doesn't fit me like grant special abilities based on your decisions construction in the wilderness of that's unique weapon has special properties that make it significantly more powerful when facing arcan in battle there we go all these mods these little mods we're going to get rid of them equip them on this one uh there we go equip all of this on this one just so it's a little bit better and i guess now it would be better I guess it would be the same as uh, special ability based on your decisions. I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know what kind of special abilities it would give me, but whatever. 
I'll take it, I guess. I'll take the weapon, boys. Whatever that means. Not sure how much it could really help me. Now we gotta enter the Osis cave. Okay, well, I'll see you guys there. Alright, boys, we just gotta defeat... We're in the cave right here. We just gotta defeat all these little monsters. They're really annoying. Just defeat them and get rid of them. Man, they're doing a lot of damage to me, man. Get the fuck out of my face. Like, there's literally so many monsters. I'm, I'm so done with this place. Fucking Odessin's gonna drive me crazy. I gotta get out of this place and quick, man. And uh, just do something else. Holy shit. You killed her children. She will devour this whole trial with Satil and Mar is like annoying me so much. What is that? What hope do you have to escape such raw fury? Are you serious? Try to calm the beast. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. We don't need to fight the beast. She won't attack me. Right? There's the thing, man. I know how this works. I've been in the wilderness forever, man. I'm a bounty hunter. I know how this all works. From a violent confrontation. You want to talk to Impressive. me, Satil? Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? There is no destiny. My choices make all the difference. <laughs> my will is all. My will is all that matters. I don't care what anybody thinks. The force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odessa. Is over. A new path has opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. My now my alliance needs you, you but I still deep. have questions. With you no, here. kill Satiel. <laughs> well, that's funny as fuck. How about we do that? Oh, I'll find you. You got a good bounty on your head, miss. Did you think I forgot about the fact that you have a bounty on your head? I'm there to collect it. And eventually I will collect that bounty. You're going to be all mine. What did you think was going to happen right there, Satil? Oh, the, the, this asshole, man. She just left. She just up and left like that. Oh, she survived for now. She won't survive for too long, though. Once I find her, you can rest assured, boys. I'll finish what I started. I do like how the, fa the fact that they trolled us big time there, though, right? It gives us the option. It says, kill Satil. Normally, when it says, kill a character, you, you literally kill the character. This time around, you want you go for the kill, but it's basically a troll, a big time troll. It's not, you don't kill her. You, you just, she just escapes and leaves. Either way, she's never going to, like, help you anyways, boys. Uh, I think that's how it works. She's not... Even if you ask her to join the Alliance, she won't. I'm pretty sure she's just going to go into exile into another place or whatever. She's never going to really help you. I feel like the best option is just try and kill her and see what happens. Because she's just going to refuse to help you anyway. So what? what is she really worth? She's not worth jack shit, right? She's not going to help you. What's the point of having her at all We're with us then? All right, uh, let's go check up on the the whole council thing. So close to a new kill record. We should have canceled her mission when the commander disappeared. She's unstable. She's ahead of schedule, and the casualties are acceptable. So glad to have your support. I don't know how long we were the out for though. Three levels away. Be prepared to slice the Gemini frequency the moment you're inside. She terrorized our home. And we let for how long back. was I out? It's not too late for Havis Squad to finish this off right. Demolish the whole facility. Over your dead body. Or yours. Let's not be picky. What's going on here? On no one saw me enter, really? Let her work. 
Don't trade in my the assassin. Alright. You know, Kylo has my confidence. Kaleo, I should say. Yeah, just do her, let her do her thing. Tell me what I've missed. The long story, focus on the mission at hand. Fo just focus on the mission at hand. Doesn't matter. At least it doesn't. Almost ran right into them. Things are about to get exciting. Kaleo, come in. Come in. No signal. We need a contingency plan. If they capture her, turn her against us. We can't evacuate Odette. We just finished. Oh shit! Decorating. She got seen. So much for that. We're going in. Stand down. We're not doing anything until we. You're know not doing not. shit. It's not your call. You abandon your post. Stop and wait for my orders. You're not doing shit, Jorgen. Excuse the fuck me. Okay. Is this how it's gonna go? He goes against my will again. Still no word from I have to kill him now. I have to literally kill him. He's a threat to the entire alliance. I warned you that Gemini mission was dangerous. If they're alive, it won't be for much longer. We can't be certain of anything. If they're safe, they'll contact us. <laughs> if not, our gold can't our die with them. You know what? Can't we don't know that. Too bad about losing Kaleo, but Jorgen's a good man. Regardless, any rescue attempt on our part would be suicide. Their fates are in their hands. I'll alert you the moment I hear anything, but until then, Jorgen's an asshole. What are you time. talking about? We can all use a break to regroup. That includes you, Theron. I'm too tired to argue. Oh, almost forgot. Hilo Viz asked to see you, Commander. Uh, we sure that, are. It sounded important. I don't know who Hilo Viz is. It must be the smuggler girl or whatever. Will I ever uh, like trust this man? He can't. Every time I give him an order, he refuses to do it. What kind of fucking asshole is that? Hey, Commander, got a sec? Who's Idol Viz? On your mind. Oh, that, that's the girl. The okay, that's what I thought. Most of the people I Sounded deal like her name. I forgot about her. We can't keep running this thing on goodwill and sure. credits. Aren't you supposed to be handling that? What do you think I'm doing now? I take your meaning. Well, why don't you just, just deal with it? Complaint. I know a guy with a habit of showing up when someone's in need. He's reached out with an offer we can't really refuse, much as I might want to. We should meet him. You do, huh? With that kind of recommendation, how can I say no? I know, I know. We've got history. Seriously? The only thing to trust about him is that he can do what he promises. Hear him out. Come on. Well, this has been an interesting diversion, but I think it's time to wrap things up. I call. Come on, Lana. Now? My fool. So soon? Must be quite Who the hell do we have to contact? I know that voice. But how? You discarded every chance you got. Never knocked a card the whole round. Uh, the answer Not Galt. You cheated. Yeah, even if I did. Oh, fuck me. Sideways and both ways. Galt. Still a font of outpouring emotion, as always. You should really try your hand at cards. I see you've met my shooting star. Fucking A. They haven't seen me shooting anything. Yet. You again? Aren't you too busy getting killed by fucking stone troopers or chuck troopers, whatever they called? 
Can't you just leave me the fuck alone for once, Galt? She's done enough chiseling. I never wanted to see your face again. Much as I enjoy catching up with friends. Oh my god. The window of opportunity for my little offer is steadily closing. The Eternal Empire spent the last five years pillaging every world in the known galaxy. Now, how'd you like to turn all that plundering into a profit for you and yours? I'm listening. I happen to know where they're keeping all that ill-gotten gain. Better yet, I've got a surefire plan to steal it right out from under their noses. I just need the help of a few talented, tough customers to see it through. What's this generous offer gonna cost me? Only your word for now, and an even split after the fact. 50-50, couldn't <laughs> And your better. angle? Ever heard of the Gilded Star? I'll stop you there. You haven't. It's one of the Eternal Empire's most tightly guarded secrets. A floating treasury circling the depths of a massive... 50-50? <laughs> giant. How about we the make it 90-10 for me? One neat little package. Now, maybe not little. By my estimation, it's the greatest sum of wealth gathered in one place since the Hut Empire was a thing. So, you in? You it better go like you say. That's a persuasive uh, argument. Yeah. When you're ready to get well, this show on the road, it we'll better go like you say. Some groundwork. Hope you haven't lost your edge, killer. No guys, there's so there's only so many people I can actually work with. And there's a lot of characters I don't like in this game. Galt is one of those characters I don't like. And I'm forced to play with him. Him and Terran are both jackasses. There's enough magnetism in this place to rival my own. Would have been quite the headache for Mako, I'm sure. Bottom line is we'll never find the Gilded Star out there, which is all the more reason to get our preparations underway. Such as picking up the last member of our illustrious crew. How many people are we gonna need? What about Mako? Give or take, this is you hear anything from her? For. It seems that you're doing fine, but she's not. Alright, let's go steal some money, shall we? I'm down for I'm down to steal the money. Good old bounty like old times. Uh, unfortunately we have to work with you, God, but we'll make do with that, I guess. Can't have everything, right? He should be in a warehouse not far from the dockyards. I'll point out the place when I see it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here, boys. I got a toll on me. And the video was pretty long already. I had to deal with the whole Satil and Mar thing where I had to run around like crazy just to do fetch quests and stuff. I'm a bit uh I'm a bit sad that I didn't I couldn't kill her. Right? I, I didn't get to kill her. Hopefully eventually we'll get to see her again. I'll be able to actually kill her, take her head and get a bounty for it. Hopefully I will be able to do it, but uh, for now we're stuck doing good old bounties. I mean, we're stealing money, so it's that, right? This gold knows what he's doing. We're still money with him. But uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.